Blackmagic held a live stream today to go over all the updates to their product lines. And there was a couple of things that really stood out. So I'm gonna tell you about that all right now. First off, one of the big things that really stood out to me was Blackmagic released an iPhone app for the camera for iPhone. So they essentially are allowing you to access all of the features of your phone's camera and turn it into as close to a Blackmagic camera as you can get. One of the really awesome features of it is it even connects to Blackmagic Cloud and you can film videos, then send those videos to the cloud and drop them straight into DaVinci Resolve, which is crazy. It, it changes the way that you're able to record and send things off to your editor or even to yourself if you're out in the field. If you're out and not recording from home, you can now record with your phone. It will upload it straight to the cloud and have it ready to go in DaVinci Resolve when you get back home. Then on top of that, they did in-body proxies. So now when you record, it doesn't just send the original file, which could be massive. It sends a proxy to DaVinci Resolve and you can set it to send both files or just the proxy. And so you can just start editing off of proxies. Or if you have an editor somewhere else in the world, they can edit off of those proxies while you continue to film. Absolutely amazing update by Blackmagic. Excited to see what comes next from it. They also released DaVinci Resolve 18.6, which came with so many updates. I'm not gonna be able to touch on all of them because I don't use every single aspect of DaVinci Resolve on a daily basis. I'm looking forward to teaching you guys all of that stuff as I I learn it too, but currently I don't know very much about Fairlight or the color page. And so I'm gonna to touch on just a couple of the things from the Fusion page. They added a new polygon shape node and you're now allowed to extrude shapes in Fusion. You can't extrude masks with a background on them. Those aren't shapes, but anything with like an S node. So like those are shape nodes you can extrude. So now you can kind of create your own shapes and your own 3D models outside of having to use a 3D object in Fusion. You can now use a shape node and turn that into a 3D object. So that really changes the game when you want to take a logo and make it 3D and animate it. The other really cool thing is they added the polygon shape node. You're now able to make really custom shapes because you can use a path to make that shape. So when you import a new drawing or a new Photoshop file or SVG, you can can turn that into a 3D object and animate that. The other thing they added into the edit page is now when you're using text or text plus nodes or even I think subtitle nodes, you're able to create outlines on the text without having to go into Fusion. That really saves you time because now you don't have to figure out how to do an outline or a shadow on text in DaVinci Resolve if you're not used to Fusion. You can do it straight in the edit page and just move on. It makes everything so much easier. Now there's so much more that they added that I can't really touch on because I don't use those sides of DaVinci Resolve that much. I'll continue to look through the change log and see if there's anything else I can make a video on for you so that you can know exactly what's happening in 18.6 that's different from all the other versions of DaVinci Resolve. Now if there's anything that you really want me to dive deep on, let me know and I will. I put the link to the update notes in the description of this video and I'm also gonna post them in the community tab of this channel so that you can find them pretty easily but comment if you have any questions regarding DaVinci Resolve and I'm happy to answer them.